All right, here we go. In less than a week, voters will decide the August primary. And as we continue our commitment to helping make a more informed decision, we are now taking a closer look at the race for a District 35 Senate seat. And this is a hotly contested one. Former Broward County Commissioner Barbara Sharif challenging incumbent Lauren Book for the chance to occupy a newly redrawn seat in the state Senate. CBS 4's Ashley Dyer has more. August 23rd is Election Day. Meet Barbara Sharif. You may know her as the first African-American mayor of Broward County. She was also a commissioner for years. In my 13-year career uh, span in terms of my political uh, life, I've been um, working in Tallahassee, working in Washington, D.C. on issues like health care, uh, homelessness, affordable housing, um, juvenile detention, youth incarceration. Her opponent, Senator Lauren Book, was first elected in 2016. She's the founder of Lauren's Kids, a nonprofit with the goal of preventing child sex abuse. I will continue to fight to make sure that children aren't secluded and restrained in their schools, that we're working on affordability issues, that we're working to drive down property insurance, that we're fighting to make sure that a woman has a right to choose. Both candidates say addressing the housing crisis and inflation are top priorities. Get a hold of the rent crisis, create jobs, and make sure that the dollars that are sitting on the state government, that $385 million that we have for rental assistance to keep people in their homes, that that money comes down to the local governments. And the things that we have heard across the district and across the state is affordability. People are having to make really difficult decisions about putting gas in the car, putting food on the table, and paying for prescriptions. Property insurance rise, rent is going up 30%. People don't know what to do. I asked both women why why they're running for this seat. As a young person, I knew what it was not to have a voice. I am a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. After working through her own traumas, I knew that I wanted and my life's mission and goal in life was to be a voice for the voiceless. When you get to a point in your life where uh, you can give something back, you should. Sharif says she wants to instill the same message and drive in her daughters. I just want to set an example for my three girls. I have three beautiful young ladies that I am raising. If you'd like to vote early, you still have four days left to do that. Election Day is August 23rd. In Broward County, Ashley Dyer, CBS 4 News. And a reminder that in Miami-Dade, early voting for Tuesday's primary goes from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. through Friday. Saturday and Sunday's hours are 8 to 4. Exercise your right. And in Broward, early voting goes every day through Sunday from 10 to 7. And by the way, the NBA is making an effort to get more voters to the polls for midterm elections in the fall. In fact, the league tweeted that no NBA games will be played on Election Day, Tuesday, November 8th. The league says this decision came out of the NBA family's focus on promoting nonpartisan civic engagement. So, like that. Uh, yeah, it is a good thing. But, you know, one day without seeing Jimmy Butler take it to the hoop. But you know what? For this You'll cause, be all right. You'll we'll be, be all right. right. You're right. Absolutely. <laughs>